Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install Iris Shaders into the All of Fabric 3 mod pack. So the first thing we'll want to do is download the things we need. Um, the first one is Iris Shaders itself. I'll have a link to all of these pages in the description below. Um, we're getting Iris Shaders off of CurseForge. Um, so you should end up on this screen here and then what you can do is click on Files, this little button here. That'll take you to this page here and then you can see Iris 1.0.0 with sodium and we click download there. And we just save that file somewhere. You wait the four seconds, it starts downloading. That's that part out of the way. The next thing we need is Indium. This allows uh, Sodium to work with um, the mod pack and, and the mods. So this link will be in the description. What we want to do is click on this Actions tab right here. So we click on that. Then essentially these are all different builds of uh, Indium. So we're going to go for the top one here that currently says explicitly add uh, current Iris Sodium fork. So if later it doesn't work or something, this is the one I'm clicking on. You can see it's five days ago. We're going to click on this. That will take us to this page here. Then we want to click on build-artifacts. And you can see there's a size there. We click on this. That should automatically start downloading. And once again, save that somewhere. Um, we're going to be using it in a little bit. And then the last thing we're going to get are the shaders themselves. Now, not every shader works. And I'll probably have a link to the Iris Discord in the description below. And you can go and th there should be a way. I'll, I'll figure out a link to show you uh, the list of the different um, shaders that they have available. Um, but for this example, I'm going to be using Silda's Vibrant Shaders version 1.29 Extreme. So I'm going to click on this download right here. Once again, the link will be in the description. There should be quite a few there. That will take us to this weird like little ad part. We want to look in this top right corner and wait the few seconds, and then we should get a skip button. We can go ahead and click that. That will take us to this page here, and then we want to click on this blue download button right here. So, Silda's Vibrant Shaders version 1.29. I'm using Extreme for this example. If you want to use um, one of these, you know, light versions or something, you can. Um, we're going to click download here, and sometimes it might open an ad there. You just want to close that. You don't want any pop-ups or anything. And that's pretty much it. That's all the downloading done. Now we have to put it into the game. So obviously for this example, I'm using All of Fabric 3. So here it is here, version the mod pack version 2.8.4. I'm going to right click on this, click open folder. Then I'm going to double click on the mods folder right here. So you can see All of Fabric 3, and then we're going to go in the mods folder. Inside this mod folder, we're going to put two different things. The first thing we're going to do is put in the Iris um, download that we got. So we're going to just drag this in and move it. If you want to copy and paste it, you can do that too. Um, so there it is there. Next, we need Indium. So for Indium, what we're going to do is double click on this build artifact zip that we got. Then we're going to find the version of Indium. You can close a little pop up there. Find the version of Indium that just has .jar. So not da dash dev, not dash sources, not dash sources dev. You just want the normal one. So this one right here, we can go ahead and drag that right into the same folder. Then what I like to do is double check that I did it right. So we can see Indium's in here. It's in the mods folder. Um, let's double check the Iris is there. Yep. And the version of Iris we downloaded has sodium built in. So that's why there's only this one and we don't have an extra sodium thing. So now what we can do is we can actually load the mod pack. So I'm going to go ahead and click play and wait for it to load. Then I'll show you how to put in the actual shader pack. All right, so here we go. The mod pack has loaded. What you want to do in order to add the shader pack in is go into options, go into video settings. And if it looks like this, you've done it correctly because this is the um, sodium uh, options here. Um, I've also changed some of my settings. I'll go through those later. Um, in shader packs, this tab right here, you click on this and you end up on this screen and then you click open shader pack folder and that will open a nice little folder on your desktop. On your desktop. So inside this folder, all we want to do is drag or copy and paste the Silders Vibrant Shaders 1.29 Extreme zip, the entire zip, into this folder here. And then if we click back on the game, we should see it show up. We might have to do refresh. Yep, there we go. And so we can click on that and then click apply. And then that should be done. That should be pretty much it. And you might be thinking that's really fast. And yes, it is. Sodium is absolutely insane. So I'm going to load up into the world. I probably don't even have to do any cuts here because it genuinely is insane. And this is in a mod pack with quite a lot of mods. And it also looks cool with shaders. So it's, it's just a massive win-win. So here we are. We're in. You can see the shaders just loaded in there. You can see we've got the shadows. We've got everything. Um, if I press F3, you can see a few things here. For one, you can see the FPS. That should start going up as the world finishes loading in, because I believe I have 12 chunks loading in at the moment. Um, we can see over on the left here, Active Renderer, Indium Renderer. Then on the right over here, we see the Sodium Renderer, and we see Iris. Um, so obviously, I'm recording everything. I have some things open. I'm not even in full screen. And we have what? 
just under 100 FPS, 80, 70. You can see all of these mod items in here. You can see the sh shadows working for them all. I have my ME system over here. It works. That's that's pretty much it. As for how much performance you guys are going to get, that that varies based on your system, but it's pretty simple to install now. It used to be a little bit difficult, but how cool is this? We have, we have shaders, we have sodium, we have mods. That is... Uh, you can't really ask for, for much else. Um, so yeah, be sure to go and support the developers for each and every part of this because this is a huge step for modern Minecraft that it, it's just amazing. Beauty, performance, and I, I guess efficiency, right? It, it's quick and easy to get it. There, there's little work that we have to do. It is beautiful. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. Hopefully this worked for you. If it didn't work because... These pretty much just released to the public. Um, so I assume there's going to be updates and there's going to be issues. Do let me know. And if I don't reply to you, maybe let me know on a, on a recent video because I don't always get notifications. And I'll do my best to figure it out because th this is one thing that I'm almost extremely passionate about because it changes the future of Minecraft, I, I think, in a very, very big way. And, and so I'm, I'm happy to help people get into it. Like, look at this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You guys know why you're here. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys, uh, I, I guess in the community, playing with, uh, playing with these mods. Goodbye.